Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we approach Veterans Day, I rise to bring awareness again to the alarming rate of veteran suicide. This country owes all our veterans and armed services personnel a limitless debt of gratitude for their sacrifices, so many that they've made on our behalf. Our country simply wouldn't be the nation it is today, of course, if it were not for the many ways in which they have valiantly served. Very sadly, veteran suicide remains an urgent crisis that devastates too many families across our nation every single day. The statistics are staggering. We know now that we lose up to 6,000 veterans to this unspeakable tragedy every year. For far too long, our country's brave men and women who fight abroad for our freedoms fall victim to suicide when they return home. And of course, they leave families without fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. There are a few things more heartbreaking than to hear of another brave soldier taking their own life. And we naturally ask the questions, how could this one have happened? Is there more that we could have done to intervene? I just want to say this, here in Congress, we have a moral obligation to ensure that our veterans are given top priority and the resources and quality health care they need and truly deserve. We will continue to work on that priority. We will continue to advocate for all those who serve, and we will continue to draw attention to this terrible crisis in America. May God bless and watch over all our troops and all those who have served the cause of freedom. I yield back.